Welcome back to Brand Stock, a show to help you develop and grow your brand in a more authentic and sustainable way locally and globally, whether it's your personal brand or company brand or your product or service level brand. You learn from thought leaders from around the world, from CEOs, business owners, managers, and experts who tell their brand stories and share their valuable firsthand insights. My name is Brigitte Bakowski. I'm the founder and owner of Bridget Brands, a branding strategy boutique offering online courses, workshops, and one-on-one -on -one sparrings. I help my clients and students craft meaningful strategies that effectively elevate their brands to unleash their full potential to shine. My motto, together we go deep and bring the brilliance out of you. So let's get started and dive with me into the world of brands. I'm excited to have Patricia Arboleda on my show today. She is a certified breakthrough executive and leadership coach, former Fortune 500 senior executive, keynote speaker, and the founder of Arboleda Coaching. Through her corporate and individual coaching programs, she empowers driven women and Latinos leaders to accelerate their success, take their careers to the next level and break through barriers to build the futures that they want and deserve. As a Latina woman with 25 years plus of corporate experience in corporate America, Patricia knows firsthand what obstacles stand in the way for female and Latino leaders. I warmly welcome Patricia Arboleda. Welcome to Brainstalk. Thank you so much, Bridget. I'm super happy to be here with you today. And um, beautiful day, sunny. So what else can we ask for, right? Exactly. Yeah, it's beautiful, sunny at your place in Miami, beautiful, sunny here at my place in Los Angeles. What can we ask for more, right? So <laughs> exactly. I'm, <laughs> I'm also very happy to have you uh, as my guest today, Patricia. And I'm really impressed with what you're doing. Can you tell us a little bit about your background before we dive into what you're doing, about your journey that brought you right there where you are now? Of course. So uh, thank you. So um, as you might hear from my accent, I am Latina. I was born in Colombia and grew up there as well. And because of my Latin culture, um, I was brought up with the belief that I had to constantly prove myself right? Um, that drove me into always wanting to be kind of like the superwoman, looking to excel at everything I did, and always um, taking on more than what I really needed. So um, I started working in the IT industry um, in 1999. Um, I moved to Spain, and I was there for a few years, and then moved to the US, where I have been for the last um, 14 years. Um, through those years, I moved up uh, the executive ladder, um, but the reality is that I was working tirelessly every day, always trying to um, outwork the nagging voice in my head that was telling me that I had to be perfect. So um, the, the thing was that despite every accolades that I would receive or the promotions or um, any executive meetings that I joined or the titles I was given, I always felt that it was never, never enough. So the more I did, the more I kept uh, chasing. And um, I never kind of really felt that fulfillment um, that I thought that the next goal would give me. So 15 years into my career, I was actually uh, really uh, feeling exhausted um, drained and feeling empty. And um, I'm sure that many of us find ourselves feeling that way sometime. Um, I was traveling around the world with very little time to myself, really focused on working and dealing with a huge pressure to get results. And I mean, always focused on getting my, my teams very motivated and engaged. Uh, but it got to a point where um, one day I was almost completely burnt out and I realized that something had to change. I mean, I couldn't continue working that way because I was gonna, I was risking to really lose the, who I really was, right? And my authenticity. 
So I needed to get help and start doing things in a different way. And uh, so I hired a coach, an executive coach, and he really uh, helped me change my perspective of life. And um, the shift was incredible. Uh, it was, uh, it's really amazing how um, by having someone who was there to help me accountable um, into stepping into my talents and my passions and what really motivated me made a big difference. And so um, after more than two decades in the corporate world, a um, couple of years ago, I knew that it was time for me to um, do something new and embark in a new journey. And that's a little bit about um, what I did. Mm. Thank you for your story and sharing that with us. And I can totally relate with you because I'm also having this uh, idea or let's say also a kind of a limiting belief that I'm not good enough and I also yeah. constantly therefore outperformed in order to be seen and then to yeah having to be perfect uh, in order to yeah to to show myself and and make sure that I'm doing the right thing and there is also um, yeah we all dealing differently with the way of um, overcoming that so my way out of this dilemma was to go on a soul searching mission and reading and listening to podcasts and putting things with pen to paper so that was my way of dealing with it great so um back to your journey and your story patricia you have started your business arbolator coaching in 2020 so what made you um do this bold step into starting your own business, into uh, entrepreneurship. What made you want to become your own boss? So um, thank you for asking. And, and so the reality is that I have always been an individual who's very motivated about making a difference in people's lives. So that's kind of my key motivator, right? Uh, making a difference. Um, and so I, I wanted to look for something that would allow me to really focus on what uh, provided purpose or what was aligned with my purpose. I am someone who has always been very passionate about people's development um, and helping people grow. Uh, as a leader throughout my career in corporate, that was kind of what really enjoyed about being a leader. And I have always also considered myself to be a change agent. So um, I decided that I wanted to spend the rest of my, I don't know, 20, 20 years of my career that I have in front of me doing something that um, provided a little bit more fulfillment uh, for me, which is by doing what I loved. So I decided to um, get the training and the certification on executive coaching and leadership coaching and, and then I decided that I wanted to focus on women mainly and Latinos, mm -hmm. mainly because mm -hmm. being a woman and uh, being from uh, la uh, Latin origin, I wanted to give uh, women and Latinos the, the tools that I wish I had many years ago, right? Uh, to be able to make a difference in their lives so that they don't have to go through the years of overworking, overwhelm and overperforming like I did. I mean, helping them advancing their careers without the limiting beliefs like you were saying of we need to be perfect and and so empowering and lifting them so that they are ready to take on senior leadership roles as well mm -hmm. so if you if you put that together in a mission statement what were that so my mission is to help advance women and latinos in leadership and finally close the gap uh, that um uh, has been keeping them playing smaller uh, than what they should, okay? Uh, people get stuck in the carousel of perfectionism and trapped by their own limiting beliefs. And basically, um, I want to help them um, advance into what they consider being success, success for them um, because um, it doesn't always, be, uh, it's not always the same. I mean, success for me can be something different than what it is for you. So one of the things that I do first is to help them understand what success means for them. And so then um, 
helping helping them advance, fine tune their executive presence and create opportunities for um, career advancement in or outside the corporate world, whatever they decide they want to do. And um, also helping them um, uh, build the tools to, to have an unshakable mindset. So get rid of those limiting beliefs and, and be um, and get rid of that in, internal voice that sometimes uh, stops us from moving forward. Mm. That's so beautiful what you do. Can you go a little bit deeper mm -hmm. how such a program looks like? What are is that um, what you are offering exactly? Yeah, so um, basically, uh, let's just start with what um, I have found that uh, normally women are looking, right? Women or established professionals and leaders are looking. So in, the reality is that what we're looking is to thrive and grow, okay? And uh, authentically, right? We want to be able to be authentic. Sometimes um, Latinos or women, we, we are faced with the the belief that we need to switch on and be someone someone that we are not just to fit in mm. right so the first thing is to help them be uh, successful in their authentic uh, style right um, i also help them be confident and create more impact um, they are encouraged to share their ideas and uh, to have an equal opportunity to drive organizations forward so I offer um, executive coaching, um, action-driven leadership training. Um, I do um, career work with them on understanding what their career strategies are. Um, I work on uh, success mindset programs, both for individuals and organizations of any size. So just to, as a side note, um, I would like to share with you that more than 80% of the people that have participated in the programs have either been promoted or they moved to another company doing what they really love or they transitioned out of corporate and launched their own businesses. Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell, people get clarity and they overcome their most common and important challenges, internal and external. They are able to enhance their strengths and, and develop their skills and also understand what are the um, high achieving habits that will help them uh, rise. Mm, they're able to grow their network and build a strong power base. Um, the, as I was mentioning before, they feel confident and empowered um, to set themselves apart. And the most important thing is that what people get out of the program is the fulfillment um, and the joy of having a purposeful career and a balanced life. Mm -hmm. So that's on the side of the individuals. Now, if we think about corporations, because I do a lot of programs for corporations, um, so what I'm doing is basically helping corporations enhance their diversity programs um, because it's not only to hire diverse or people, I mean, and, and have diverse teams, but also giving the tools to the people in the organization to, to uh, cope with the challenges that they face being minorities, right? And sometimes mm -hmm. these, it, that starts with building the confidence and the empowerment and all of those different things. So. Um, with the programs, they're also able to increase the pipeline of diverse leaders. I mean, people feeling ready to step up and take on senior leadership positions. Um, they also boost engagement, um, productivity, and, and of course, with a good and strong diverse team, revenue increases and uh, confidence in all, in all areas. So that's basically some of the benefits that uh, people have shared. Uh, that they can get from the programs. Yeah, so, so important to have confidence that you can do something and then also the clarity, having a roadmap of how to get there where you want to be in the future, right? Having this right. Kind of vision, yeah. Yeah, oh. having, the vision, having the vision is important. Understanding why you want to do it is also important, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and understanding also that you need to be flexible uh, because things are going to change along the way, 
So you might you might have a clear understanding of where you want to go and why, but you need to also be flexible to change the path as needed. And and so that's why when people um, think or start thinking about something they want to do, but they don't do it because they're waiting for the perfect time and to have like the, all the plan ready. I mean, I tell them just start because the plan is going to change. I mean, nothing is going to be set in stone. So while you start and you start doing things, then the the answers will come along and, and then you'll find a way. Yeah, the things will fall into its place. As we say, exactly. because you cannot control everything. And we have seen in the last couple of years <laughs> what it means mm-hmm. that things just change from one day to the next day and you have to change your business model and pivot accordingly. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, having an overall vision, mm-hmm. you know where you want to go, but then also um, have the, um, yeah, have an understanding that the way of how you get there might be different than you think it's going to be yeah, that you have exactly. to do detours that there are the roadblocks in between that you have to overcome and it's it's a learning yeah mm-hmm. it, it's it's not a failure it's something that enriches your life um and makes you accumulate more wisdom <laughs> on the exactly. way <laughs> exactly yeah you learn. excuse me you learn from those experiences as well yeah a lot, yeah. So, Patricia, by all what you are doing as a business owner, you also have built up uh, thought leadership and thereby your own personal brand that shines bright. And personal branding is also a key topic in your business. So, therefore, I would like to ask you, what does a personal brand mean to you? Okay, so that's very, uh, thank you for asking that because it's very important. So, when when you're in, um, or, or this is a mistake that I have found and I learned from it um, while I was still in corporate, um, we have the tendency to think that our brand is our title or the role that we have or the company that we work for. And basically, um, the reality is that people don't follow titles, they don't follow uh, the company. If you want your brand, you need to develop your own brand, right? Mm -hmm. So because the personal brand um, is what um, tells who you are, okay, what you stand for, um, the things that make you unique, your values and the difference that you make. And and, um, while having a personal brand is something that um, people don't always think about, it's the reality is that it is something that we all need to have and that we all have uh, even if we don't think we do um, because our reputation is our brand so we might as well just focus on having and controlling what we want to be known for right exactly exactly and what uh, influence does being a personal brand have on leadership and why should we be cognizant of that well, um, a good leader is the leader that can influence people and build relationships, right? And so um, when you're building relationships, you want people to get to know who you are uh, again and what you stand for. People uh, follow uh, people, not titles. And, uh, and so that's why it is so important to, to, to have your personal brand and to have people recognize uh, your values and what make you different than the others. I mean, we can all have, or many people might have the same title, let's say VP of marketing, and we have many VPs of marketing, right? But that doesn't say really anything about who you are. And, uh, and so, as I was saying, and now after COVID, it's even more important than ever um, the soft skills, the emotional intelligence, the being able to be vulnerable and create empathy. And believe it or not, when you need to build your brand and express what you stand for, you're also being vulnerable because you're letting people get to know who you really are and what and and what um, you value. And so that's um, 
it requires a little bit of self awareness and and um, courage also yeah. Um, yeah. to be able to work on that exactly because of a lot of people uh, that um, think that being vulnerable uh, showing yourself out there is nothing that you want to do yeah so that's mm -hmm. why are keeping themselves from stepping into that courage to show their vulnerability and that means also living by your values that means being authentic as a leader yeah mm -hmm. and exactly by, by doing so you also inspire you inspire others to follow you yeah and i think mm -hmm. that uh, that also means to be a strong leader, to show to be a strong leader. And also when it is in the context of an organization, I think behind every successful organization, may it be company, institution, or whatever it is, there mm -hmm. are human beings and the human beings are the personal brains. That's exactly the organization strong. Right? Yeah. And and like we were saying, I mean relationships um there was uh, john maxwell saying that if you if you're gonna be a leader and you don't love the people that you lead then don't lead them because you really need to um i mean uh, take care of the people that um, you're influencing and uh, understand and be able to put yourself in their shoes as well so that you can understand and be empathetic and um and that's all part of the vulnerability and the your values and and living off by your values mm -hmm. so if we summarize that do you have any helpful advice of let's say three different factors that need to need to be in place um that we can strengthen personal brain to be our authentic self and that allows us to own our brilliance and step into the courage and claim our power? Yeah, so um, we were talking uh, before about the importance of having clarity and confidence, right? Mm -hmm. And some of that comes from self-awareness. So I would say that the first thing that you need to start building on and, and really connecting with is allowing yourself to um, observe and, and become self-aware of who you are mm -hmm. and um, also uh, what you want to do and why because when you're building your brand you're not building your brand only based on what you're doing now but what you want to do in the future as well because that is kind of helping you drive that path into where you want to go and now the other thing that is important is understanding how the skills that you have used in the past are going to help you get there. All of those different things together help you build your brand, right? And so, like we were saying, um, understanding what you want to do and why, um, be able to recognize your strengths and, um, and define um, and be clear on what you want to be known for. So what are your key attributes and and the things that, I mean, are non-negotiable for you as well as the values that you stand for. And um, it's always good, you know, to also uh, ask feedback um, from people and uh, be able to, sometimes it's difficult to recognize our strengths or areas of opportunity. So when we do 360s or when we ask people for feedback, it also allows us to understand what's our reputation, how people perceive us. Mm -hmm. And then we are able to see if there is a disconnect and how we can close the gap. So absolutely. Yeah, this external validation, this feedback is so important mm -hmm. because it very often is not aligned with how we think we are showing ourselves to the world. Yeah. Well, Especially being for important yeah, I consider myself one because I will see myself, well, I was, I'm still, I mean, you will always cope with that, but you think you're not good enough and then you get the feedback, hey, you come across totally different. Yeah, so there's mm -hmm. a huge gap and that is encouraging. It gives you the strength and, and the power and courage to make the next step. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and you have a very important point. And when you feel that you're not good enough and people perceive you in a different way, that's a proof that that belief is just in your mind. Exactly. It's not the reality. 
uh, uh, when something is not a reality, why would you act or behave um, according to something that is not true? So when we understand that mo some of those limiting beliefs are not true and are just something that we heard or we we saw when we were little and we created a representation of that in our mind and in subconscious mind and we created that belief about something when we come to realize that some of those things are not real then we're able to say okay make a decision i mean am i going to continue i mean um basically addressing my life based on a belief that is or something that is not true and and take decisions to change and shift your and reframe and uh, rewire your brain which are some of the things that we do as well as part of the coaching yeah exactly beautiful i totally agree okay um any advice for corporates who want to shift to solopreneurship and want to become their own boss do you have any key branding essentials to take away for those that start out that are going through that transition and it comes so <laughs> I would say that the one thing that I would like to, I mean, that I always recommend and, and it's my uh, tagline or my motto is don't be perfect, be courageous. And um, as we were saying before, I mean, sometimes that um, need to do everything perfectly or to, um, to, to, to be perfect or be the superwoman or have a perfect plan in front of us to be able to step and move forward is, is not real so um when we accept that we don't need to be perfect and instead we decide to be courageous and being courageous means that even if you feel fear of the unknown because when you're transitioning from a life of like in my example i mean 25 years in corporate and all of a sudden you're gonna move and shift to do something completely new right there is fear because that is an unknown uh, but the thing is that even when we feel fear, uh, we need to step up and move forward and be courageous. And um, that's basically the one thing that I would like to, uh, I mean, for people to remember, don't be perfect, be courageous. And don't wait until you have the perfect plan, because otherwise you're going to be stuck there overthinking things and you're never going to do what you love. So mm -hmm. take action, be flexible and be ready to shift gears. Um, as things unfold yeah this fear that very often keeps us from um, making the next step and um, you really have to face the fear head on go into it and then usually in most time of the cases uh, it, there is nothing to fear about exactly yeah. oh, no, nothing happens <laughs> yeah it's also in our mind that is our mm -hmm. thoughts that are keeping us from actually taking action yeah exactly yeah all right oh, there's a lot uh, to overcome and a lot to yeah um learn in life and um yeah getting out there in the uncomfortable and leaving this comfort zone because then yeah. it's, it's the place where we can grow it's the place where we leave it's the place where we learn it's the place that enriches our lives and that helps us to get there where we want to be sooner or later. Right. It is very comfortable to stay in the status quo, <laughs> right? And to stay there without really forcing or, or challenging ourselves to do anything different. In fact, uh, um, that's also one of the things that we work on the program is to understand what are the things that you need to do to break out of the status quo put together an action plan how you're going to measure it and then move forward right mm -hmm. and fear we have fear all the time i mean i just a few days ago i posted something on um uh, jumping out of the of a plane with a parachute right? yes i've seen it <laughs> yes great and uh, i am absolutely afraid of heights i mean mm -hmm. and um, i don't like roller coasters for example but for me that was a huge challenge to be able to jump out of the airplane and per airplane i do it and right before the having the experience i was feeling a lot of adrenaline and you know that emotion of oh my gosh how is this going to be 
But then when I did it, it was amazing. And so after the experience and on top of that, I did it with my son. So it was all very special. And after doing it, um, I, I took a, time, a moment to reflect on the experience and, and I thought, okay, if I had, if I had uh, allowed my fear to stop me from doing it, I would have lost uh, the, the opportunity to experience this, which is wonderful and amazing. So uh, that's just a real life ex uh, example of how we need to just keep and push ourselves to, to do the things that we think we, I mean, we love, even if we feel fear. Yeah, that's a beautiful story because we would miss out so much in our life that beautiful and exciting and um, yeah, it um, something, yeah, it would just be part of our life that is missing. Yeah, right. We have exactly. To have to face it good so we are coming to the end of our show patricia i would like to do a quick word wrap with you are you ready to give me short answers yeah of course okay cool courageous so it's taking action without even if you feel fear okay mindset mindset so you can have a uh, strong mindset a successful mindset or you can allow your your mindset to stop you so you better build a, a successful mindset i love this answer horses i am passionate about horses actually and uh, i'm um, soon probably gonna be launching a new program um of uh um, leadership coaching with horses so that's um, it, it's it's beautiful I got the certification last year in Spain and it was amazing beautiful beautiful love that and last but not least brands the brand super important don't ever uh, take it for granted build your brand build your personal brand and uh, because if you don't do it someone else will do it for you Okay, that's true. Absolutely. So never let anyone else define you. Uh, exactly. As a personal brand or as a brand. Yeah. All right, Patricia. For listeners uh, who would like to find you and know more about you, where will they find you? So they can find me on LinkedIn as Patricia Arboleda, Executive Coach, on Instagram as Arboleda Coaching or um, on my website, arboledacoaching.com. And if they want to contact me, they can always send me an email, patricia at arboledacoaching. I'll be happy to connect. Thank you so much, Patricia, for being my guest today. Uh, it was really enjoyable. It was delightful having you. It was a great conversation about personal branding, about yeah, overcoming limiting beliefs and uh, facing fear head on. <laughs> and getting rid of the perfectionist trap. Exactly. Thank you so much, Patricia. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. So thanks to all for joining Brands Talk today. Please leave your comments. Um, we would love to hear from you. You can also listen to this show as a podcast on your go and just follow Brain Talk on your favorite platform. If you're interested in learning more about my services, head over to my website, bridgetbrains.com. Right now, the doors are open for enrollment, actually until two, um, tonight, to midnight. To my signature online branding course on your brilliance, Make Your Brain Shine. This course is for you if you want to unlock your full potential and build your authentic personal and company brand with confidence and clarity and with a proven roadmap. I put it in the comments as well. I hope you will join me again when we dive into the world of brands life or by having me in your earbuds walking the talk. Bye for now. Let's shine. You deserve it.